Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Honourable Speaker, I, uh, I thank the Honourable Member for the question. Uh, Honourable Speaker, uh, for the benefit of those that perhaps, um, I'm sure we all understand the national security strategy, but for the benefit of those that do not quite understand the subject, it is the, the overarching strategy that sets the agenda and policy intentions of government with respect to national security. Honourable Speaker, at the moment Fiji does not have one, purely because there have been processes in the past where a national security strategy was going to be established. That had gone through uh, certain processes but did not eventually complete process of cabinet to endorse it, and then from which um, the, you know, the national security strategy would be derived and everyone works from there. Now, earlier on in, at the beginning of this parliament, I had um, made known government's intentions that uh, we would like to, um, to conduct a security and defense review. And, uh, <coughs> And the outcome of that reform also uh, will also develop the national security strategy. And this has been discussed uh, both with uh, the traditional and non-traditional you know, security areas that affect Fiji generally as a nation. Um, <clears throat> in the past, our national security strategy um, in the recent past has been led uh, by defense and uh, you know, uniformed personnel. This one that we are going to do is going to be civilian-led and will involve a committee that will lead the process. At the moment, um, I have a terms of reference that's on my desk that is actually taking shape and is undergoing consultations uh, in terms of what uh, will become the terms of reference that will guide this process at the end. So everyone in Fiji, including you know, our friends from the other side of the house, will have um, the opportunity to air their views with regards to, you know, to the defense and security aspects of our nation. Obviously, this is a very uh, interesting subject today. Um, I think in our region, um, In the, south, the whole of the Southern Hemisphere is, you know, looking up to, um, perhaps worried about what's happening on the Taiwan Strait and how things have developed and how things have shaped, you know, security in our region. We've seen how the big players have come down lately. We know how the non-traditional sectors uh, have affected the way that our the whole of our national life has been affected in the past. So national security covers not just defense or security in general, it's the area that we know, but covers essentially every other aspect of all of our national life. So we will have the opportunity to do that. And, um, uh, and like I said, um, when that process is ready, and hopefully we can develop something that will be perhaps take place this year, and then by next year we should be able to put through the parliamentary papers to discuss it in the House. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Thank you, Honourable Minister.